Senji, you are the best singer in the world. No one can match your talents. Thank you, Your Majesty. But you are too kind. There are others, I am sure, who are better than me. You are just being modest. I am sure you are the best. You are right, Your Majesty. Tansen is the best. Birbal, you are quiet. You don't agree with me. My apologies, Your Majesty. Like Tan Singh Ji himself says, and he's not being modest, there are those who are better than him. Birbal, you really like challenges. Well, I want you to find a better singer and prove it. And... Uh... While you are at it, why don't you take this ring out of the well without getting inside or using any rope or rods, etc. Can you do it? Your Majesty, as far as the singer is concerned, Tan Senji's guru is one such person. Tan Senji, your guru? Yes, Your Majesty. He is my teacher and a great singer. He has gone on a pilgrimage though and shall be back in a month's time. Your Majesty, why not wait for the Guruji to come back? In the meanwhile, I shall also find a way to retrieve your ring. Okay, Biribal, you have one month to meet both the challengers. Have you forgotten about our challenge? Where is Tan Senji's Guru? Your Majesty, I have certainly not forgotten. Guruji is in fact back from his pilgrimage. So why isn't he here in the Darbar? Your Majesty, Guruji is a bit eccentric. He doesn't move out of his abode. Actually, we would have to go there to hear him sing. Mm. Well, all right then. Since he won't come here, I guess we shall have to go to him. I must say, I'm getting really curious to hear your Guruji sing. Ah, we shall go to his place tomorrow morning. As, As you, you wish, wish, Your Majesty. Majesty. We shall have to walk a bit further, Your Majesty, as there is no room for horses on this path. If your Guruji is better than the best singer in the world, why does he stay in this jungle? He doesn't care for creature comforts, Your Majesty, and likes to be close to nature. Hmm. Your Majesty, I apologize for the inconvenience. But we shall stop here and wait for Guruji to come out and start singing. He sits outside his hut every day around this time and sings. Yes, but why aren't we going to his hut and sit with him while he sings? Well, Your Majesty, he doesn't sing at the behest of anyone. He sings only when he feels like it. That's why we have to wait for him here. Yeah. 
This is a surprise. Please welcome. When Birbal and Tansenji told me about you being the best singer in the world, I refused to believe them. But they were proved right. You are the best. It is your love for music which makes you say that. The music is what is great. I am not really worthy of the praise, Your Majesty. I know a good singer when I hear one. And you are certainly the best. Please accept this as a token of my appreciation. I am sorry, Your Majesty, but I do not sing for rewards. Besides, I have everything here that I wish for. Please give the money to someone more deserving. All right, but please do come with us to the palace. I shall house you in style and give you all the best in comforts and luxury. That way I could listen to you sing whenever I want to. I am sorry, Your Majesty, but I am the happiest man when I am here in my humble hut, surrounded by this serene forest. I won't get this in your palace. Besides, I only sing for the Lord above, so you shall be disappointed. Well, I respect your wishes, but if ever you do need anything, just let me know. Thank you for your hospitality. Goodbye, Goodbye Guruji. Guruji. Tell me, how come he sings so well and better than you do, Tan Sen? Uh, well, Your Majesty... Your Majesty, if I may answer your question, Guruji sings so much better is because he only sings to please the Lord above and not mere mortals. Tan Sen Ji sings for you and for me. And besides, Guruji has pure devotion in his voice which can only come when you give up the world and its creature comforts. Uh, well, Biribal, I agree. You have met your first challenge. But what about the second one? Where is my ring? Your Majesty, we shall pass by the well now and I shall have your ring out for you. Hmm, this I have to see. Here you are, Your Majesty. Mm. Mm. Bravo, Birbal. Now tell me, how did you do this? Well, after you threw the ring into the well that day, I looked around and found some cow dung lying here. I threw it into the dry well over the ring. Over the next few days, the cow dung dried up, absorbing the ring within. It started raining a few days ago and the well started filling up. The dry piece of cow dung started floating to the top. And here you are with your ring, Your Majesty. I didn't have to use anything, nor did you have to get into the well to retrieve your ring. Nature did it for me. Bravo, Birbal. You have no peers. Bravo. Bravo, bravo. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. 